No one made at school. Uh, he said his mum used to like wiggle his willy before he went to bed. What? Really? <laughs> yeah, he, 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 how old was he when he told us? He must have been about like, 12, 13. He just casually said, he said, oh, before I go to bed, mum like, wiggles my willy. What? <laughs> Mark Grindon, if you're listening. Mark Grindon? Yeah. Jesus <laughs> Christ, Mark. But Is your mum still about? <laughs> yeah. I'm feeling awkward. tired. <laughs> I'm near your house. Like that, it's like, like that. He's, I remember doing that. Oh, here's your <laughs> job. Hang on, it's he's 12, said 13. It, he said it as if... hairy balls. He said it as if it was just a kind of casual thing. As when it, did it stop? <laughs> this is it. This is the question now, isn't it? Whether it has stopped. <laughs> 29 Mark years Mark Grindon. That's his name? Yeah. Are your friends on Facebook? No. I'm going to check pr- out his mum. He's prison now. Well, no, I'm, yeah. me and my friend... He's probably abusing his kids. That's what he thought. We stayed by his house once, Pans and out, he took my other mate, who stayed the night, I didn't go with him, into his mum and dad's room, and he pulled down the covers and showed him <laughs> his mum's boobs, like two in the morning. Really? He like, sneaked down his mum's covers. Dang on, this thing's like a weird family, man. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, Jesus Christ. These are the people you're friends with at school, isn't it? Like, when you're kids. Gee. When you're that age, you're, your parents pick your friends. Um, that's weird. Like, I mean, that's weird. I mean, firstly, she's playing with Willie, and he's, he's, he's showing his mates her tits. So he's obviously aware that them tits meant something. So his mum's like, "Mate, there's that that can't go on this podcast. You're just, <laughs> you're just, you're just talking about. Was it you? <laughs> was it me? A friend I of yours? I was there. I is that a one? Is it? <laughs> What's your next question? Is that all right? Is it, is it normal? Is it <laughs> is normal? No, Jim, it's not normal. <laughs> this is therapy. You for me. need to go and get help, mate. No, I was around there, but I think for the. Oh, you was around uh, there watching. <laughs> well, this, I on a wooden get, chair. I didn't go with him. I was asleep, and he took my one mate. eye open. <laughs> I wish I had gone, but he took uh, my friend. Not to see your mate's balls being played with. <laughs> no, not that bit. He went with Mark, and Mark pulled down. He his went with Mark. How far did not, they go? I was, no, that's it. He took my other friend uh, and pulled down his mum's covers to show him. He should pull down a bit covers. further. <laughs> Where was his dad? <laughs> well, I presume his dad was in bed asleep as well. It would have been awkward if she'd woken up, though, wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Two kids just staring at him. I remember I was getting scared now. I used to like when I was a little kid, I get scared. Just ruin the joke then. <laughs> just ruin it straight away, didn't I? I was going to say once I got scared, I was going to get a bit mum and dad, but once I got too big, I'd always said the little kid bit. <laughs> big cut out there. Big cut out. <laughs> well, I had another guy at well, my primary. Another guy. <laughs> another guy. <laughs> Any female in your life, Jim? <laughs> no, it's just... Well, no, it's all it's the weirdos. And mm. I, this kid uh, will probably deny this because he probably doesn't remember it, but... Uh, we turned you down. What a weirdo. <laughs> no, we had a, you know, like primary school, we had uh, <clears throat> like a small library in the corner of the room. Um, so we were about six or seven. Mm. And he was in the kind of year, but he's a bit older than me. Uh, <laughs> he, he used to guard the library... And I remember, I still remember to this day. Guard the library. Oh God, from what? People well, want to read. <laughs> no, well, I went to, it's like a, little, a small library in the corner of the room. And I, I still remember this to this day, that he wouldn't let me in the library uh, unless I showed him my willy. He was kind of guarding. The, Fuck off. Like a bouncer. No, You've no. got to be joking. No, he's like, he's like, you ain't coming in unless. Uh, you show me your willy. Yeah. Uh, and there was a girl in the corner with her knickers down, happily reading. She'd played ball. Um, but How I, old were you here? <laughs> no, I was about seven. Must have been six or seven. I said, Who's this guy? Uh, How old was I he? I won't name any names. How old was he? He was slightly slightly older than me, yeah. But, uh, yeah. He... Wait, so your mate's mum's playing your mate's prick. <laughs> your mate's showing his mate's your mum's tits. <laughs> the bloke guarding the library that anyone would want to get in there anyway is asked you to get his cock out. Why, some person with a knicker damper ankles... <laughs> Claire, you've had I know, a I her sordid... Name was, her name is Claire. She was reading in the Claire. corner with her niggas down. Is that why you want to go to the library? I, was like, I just wanted to... I just wanted to you read... You just want to show your willy. I just wanted to read a book. And he's like, where do you think you're going? You know the rules. So then you got... So you're in there now reading the book with your cock <laughs> no, out. I didn't. I was like... I just want to like, read a book and that. I didn't learn to read till I was like 18. You know, kid... What was that? <laughs> I'd like to think that he still does that. He's outside like the science museum. <laughs> you're coming, mate. I can't believe that. So the girl just sat in there with niggas down. She was in the corner, yeah, with her knickers down. She what? These were the rules, you know. <laughs> if you wanted to read, where were the teachers when all this was going on? Well, I don't remember. They're they're not part of my memory. And I used to wet myself all the time as well. I was the 
Um, it's all coming out now. <laughs> this is, I did, this but is then, a strange <laughs> podcast. Yeah. It got to the point, though. It got to the point where if there was a patch on the floor, they would ask me first. <laughs> My rep had become that bad. <laughs> like oh, Jim, the little pisser. Jimmy Pissy Pants. How old was you then? What was going on? That's the university. <laughs> no, this is a, uh, no, I still remember. I remember once I didn't want to interrupt the headmaster. He was talking to my teacher, and so I just like let it go. Oh God! Did I mention that time that girl shit herself? No. In the class next door to me. No. I was in class, and suddenly I heard a lot of screams in the class next door. Just just heard a commotion. And later on, I found out a, a girl called Michelle. Um, just put her hand up, said circle of the toilet. He said, "No, you had your chance to break." And then um. Next minute, she jumps up and runs out of the classroom, and everyone's going, oh, <laughs> oh, she shit herself for the tights. Oh. Uh. And you know what, right? Next day, she's back in school, like nothing had happened. That's the worst. How old? Yeah, that age, you don't like, care, This is yeah. secondary school. She's about, she's got about 13. This First or second year in secondary, secondary school. school. Yeah. She's about, she's about 12, 13, 14 years old. My mate. Not care. I'd have left the country. I'd have left Earth. I'd have lived on the moon. Yeah, you'd be a bit reluctant when you'd come back into if school. If I shit myself in school, that'd have been the worst thing. That'd be, I'd have hung myself. I'd have been, that'd have been mortified. I was like, imagine me going, yeah, back into my old boy's school after ruining my pants. Just casually walk in. Go, it's morning, guys. I told you, I'll tell you about the guy who'd done a shit in school. In, what do you mean? In the, he, he was, he was, there was a bloke having a crap in the school. To, and I never, never in a million years would I go crap in school. Never in a million years. Oh, yeah. And, um, there was a queue for for dinner, and suddenly um, this guy called Paul Montague, Peter Montague, started going, "Oh, someone's having a shit," and everyone starts going, "Oh, <laughs> who's doing a shit? Someone's having a shit." <laughs> and suddenly, this half open window was already half open. That's where the smells come out. My mate Lee, his head appears at the window, going, "Fuck off, Peter! Fuck off!" <laughs> Clearly, giving away the identity yeah. of the person having a shit. No, oh, what's this day for? Why would you do that? Why don't you just sit down, shut up, have your shit, and then sneak off in the dead of night? 